Choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Okay, but so is this the same the question you want to ask? The same question is you said you said that they are killing the company, but you're the head of the company. The buck doesn't stop with you. Race hustler and deranged Don Lemon is now suing Elon Musk, claiming that he had agreed to be paid without signing a contract. Sounds fishy, right? Well, in this video, we're going to break it all down. Welcome back to the Devore Darkens show. I am Devore Darkens. You guys already know what to do. Like, share and subscribe to the channel so we can get this out to more people just like you and me. Alrighty, so Don Lemon, right? Don Lemon, again, I say it all the time. I want you guys to think about Don Lemon, and then I want you to think about Tucker Carlson, right? Both were the leading uh, anchors on their respective platforms, right? Tucker Carlson was on Fox News. Don Lemon was CNN. Both were fired around the same time. Doesn't matter why they were fired, but the point was they were fired. Tucker Carlson becomes bigger, becomes more successful, goes off and does his thing beautifully interviews people with respect. Don Lemon, on the other hand, he falls. He is in a downward spiral. He goes even deeper into this whole race hustling mentality and he plays the victim. And this is why he finds himself where he is, where he needs to sue people to probably start making some money. But without further ado, let's actually play the video that got him fired in the first place, and then we'll dive into this whole article about him suing Elon Musk. Let's play that video. This morning, Don Lemon's former co-workers speaking out about his departure from CNN. Don was a big part of this show over the last six months. He was one of the first anchors on CNN to have me on his show. That's something I'll obviously never forget. I agree with Chris. We wish him the best. The CNN This Morning anchor signing off his show Monday, just hours later tweeting, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. Adding, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. I am stunned. CNN then with a tweet of its own, refuting Lemon's account, calling it inaccurate, writing, he was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. The back and forth coming months after, Lemon made this on-air gaffe about women while discussing Nikki Haley's run for president, prompting his brief suspension. Nikki Haley is in her prime, sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and Maybe 40s. What are you talking about? That's not according to me. Prime for what? His co anchors, Poppy Harlow and Caitlin Collins, appearing stunned, pushing back. Are you talking about prime for like child boring or are you talking about prime for being president? What the facts are, Google it. At the time, Chris Licht, CNN's chairman and CEO, sending a memo calling the comments unacceptable and mandating Lemon participate in formal training sessions. Going that instance, not the first time the firebrand host has raised eyebrows. Is it fair to say this because I'm not a mommy, but is it mommy brain? Is it you? you have, no. You Variety also reporting recently allegations of past workplace misogyny by Lemon, citing more than a dozen unnamed current and former colleagues. OK, so you guys seen that. All right. So he's fired because he had made some offensive comments about women. Now, uh, I believe people like Don Lemon shouldn't even be on CNN to begin with. Uh, because I think they are evil, I think they are deranged, and I think they are infected by the woke mind virus. That's just me. But I digress. I just find the irony that someone who is infected with the woke mind virus got fired for even thinking that way. And I, But anyways, we're not even going to go down that road. That's what got him fired. So then, th as soon as he was fired, he reached out to Elon Musk to host his show on the X platform, just like Tucker Carlson did. Because remember... The first person that got a huge deal when Elon Musk bought X was Tucker Carlson to host his show on there. Um, he was one of the biggest names. And then so it makes sense. Well, why don't Don Lemon do the same thing? But Don Lemon is insane. He's deranged. So, of course, he's going to screw it up. Right. And that brings us to this interview that he did with Elon Musk, which absolutely is an embarrassment to all journalists. But I'm, I'm going to stop there and let's play the video. So you said if they kill the company, it's them. But doesn't the buck stop with you? I mean, you're on I have to say, I, I, choose your question carefully. There's five minutes left. Okay, but so is this the same, question you want to ask? The same question is you said you said that they are killing the company, but you're the head of the company. The buck doesn't stop with you. I acquired X in order to preserve freedom of speech in America, the First Amendment. 
and I'm going to stick to that. And if that means making less money, so be it. So I have to be, listen, I, I'm just being honest, right? I'm not trying to, like, get you or anything. I was just surprised that you would blame other people for killing the company. I mean, you're the, I mean, when you say the buck stops with the president of the United States, regardless of what happens, right? So I, why would this, why would that question upset you? You seem upset by it, are you? I think you're- And I'm not trying to upset you. The, the way, well, you are upsetting me because the way you're phrasing questions, I think is, is not cogent. Um, it's not uh, what? Not cogent. Cogent. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, so, uh, the, if, 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 if given a choice where an advertiser is saying like, you have to censor all this content on the, on the platform, irrespective of whether advertising appears, uh, then our answer will be like, look, you, you, you can choose where you want your advertising, what you want your advertiser to appear next to, but you can't insist on censorship of the entire platform. And if you insist on censorship of the entire platform, even where your advertising doesn't appear, uh, then uh, obviously we will, we will not uh, want them as an advertiser. So what, what would you say to advertisers to, who have left the platform or who are considering coming back or not coming back? What would you like to say to them? Well, first of all, uh, almost all of our advertisers are coming back to the platform. So it's a very short list of advertisers who are not coming back to the platform. Um, and uh, our advertising revenue is rising rapidly. Uh, and our subscription revenue is rising rapidly. And I feel very optimistic about the future of the X platform. Okay. Listen, I'm not, I'm, honestly, I'm not meaning to offend you. You're an intense person. Where does that intensity come from? I was born that way. And I had a tough childhood. You did? So, yeah. How so? Um, right, Walter Isaacson goes into it in the book, and, and we only have a couple minutes left, so. All right. Too long to, to describe. Um, so, the one or two questions I can do, and then we'll have to call it. I, okay, again, I don't mean to upset you. Why are you, you just. No, I, I have a whole room full of people waiting to meet with me. Okay. So, we're just going over time. Okay. All right. I understand that. Okay, so you guys got to see Don Lemon's interview style, right? And how he interviewed uh, Elon Musk. And it's such a longer, of course, um, interview. And most of the interview I thought was stupid. Uh, I think the questions were stupid as well. When you're interviewing the richest man in America, someone who's looked at as a genius, I think you should come up with more intelligent questions. That's just my opinion. Or questions that actually are relevant to... Uh, the world and America, but that's not what he did in that interview. And so he got a lot of backlash on that interview. And then he goes on CNN and starts claiming that, oh, well, you know, Elon Musk's problem against me is because I'm gay and I'm black. And he didn't like that I was asking tough questions, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, it's not that he was upset at him for asking tough questions. You're asking questions that are stupid, but it looks like it's tough, right? Um, and there's really no relevance to what he was really asking. But hey, that's a whole nother thing. But that brings us to today where Don Lemon is now uh, suing uh, Elon Musk, which I find to be another embarrassing move by him, by the way. And um, let's take a look at what he said. OK, so Don Lemon sues Elon Musk over canceled X show. All right. So uh, one of the things that really stands out just in the beginning is this. Lemon claimed in the lawsuit that Musk and his team made false promises to rush him into agreeing to an exclusive partnership. Got it. Since purchasing the platform, Musk has reinstated accounts that have shared extremist content or conspiracy theories. Uh, excuse me. And been accused of taking a forgiving stance towards hateful speech. State of play. Lemon alleged in a court filing that Musk and his team sought to strike a deal at a time when he was vulnerable after CNN fired him, but said the platform subs but said the platform failed to compensate him despite seeking to capitalize on his name, likeness, identity, and reputation. Now, before I go any further, let's just let's just really get down to what the facts are, right? Don Lemon is just a freaking disgrace. If you are if you are a person who's getting fired from CNN, yeah, you're probably doing something wrong. That's number one. Number two. The way you interviewed Elon Musk to begin with was just absolutely disrespectful. That's number two. Number three, you are already suing CNN, right? He already sued CNN for being fired, okay? And now you want to sue Elon Musk for what? 
Like for what? Because you need the money that bad? I mean, it's just embarrassing. He's spending more time fighting with CNN, trying to sue Elon Musk and play a victim than to go out there and actually create high quality, valuable content. This guy has so much experience, but to be caught up in things like this, it's just a freaking disgrace. Now, let's keep reading. Oh, here we go, because it's always about race, right? A gay black man with an excellent re reputation. Excellent reputation, huh? And a household name. He was the perfect candidate to partner with to aid their dying advertisement revenue. The complaint reads, dying advertisement revenue. Well, that's not what the case is, right? Uh, Musk agreed to pay Lemon $1.5 million annually for his work and a percentage of advertising revenue per court documents. Now, obviously, um, that's not actually true, but whatever. Uh, one more point I want to make here. By the time the first episode was taped, the lawsuit reads, Lemon had spent hundreds of thousands of dollars preparing for the show and building his own media company. But as of Thursday, Lemon alleges he has yet to receive a single payment. So what he is saying is there was an agreement on the table. Contract had not been signed, but I, but he was going in believing it was going to be signed. Then it was canceled. He did the episode anyway, asked for the episode, by the way. Don Lemon asked for the episode. Elon Musk did not ask. And now he wants to be compensated. What do you think? We're stupid. You know, so th these are the shenanigans that these woke mind virus individuals have, right? Uh, when they don't get their way, they play the victim. That's number one. Number two, they are a bunch of race hustlers. It's all about race. It's all about gender. That's exactly who Don Lemon is. It's just it's just sad. Um, just a couple more points here. Uh, friction point. X has previously confirmed that X did not have a signed contract with the former CNN anchor. But there was a shared understanding that an agreement would be codified. OK, just because there's a shared understanding still does not make it legally binding, by the way. But OK, in response to Lemon's reservations about entering a deal, Musk represented to Lemon that he would have full authority and control over the work he produced, even if disliked by defendants, and that there would be no need for a formal written agreement or to fill out paperwork. OK, listen, Elon Musk is a billionaire. Uh, Don Lemon, you worked for CNN for over 15, almost 20 years. You think you're really not going to have a contract? Come on, man. Stop it. Now, here's what they're saying. This case is straightforward. This is from Lemon's attorney. Ex-executives used Don to prop up their advertising sales pitch, then canceled their partnership and dragged Don's name through the mud. Uh, no, Don Lemon, you did that to yourself. You did that to yourself. And here's the actual official, uh, uh, you know, court document, whatever. It's not going to go anywhere um, at the end of the day. We all know that. Um, so this brings me to this. I want to show you what Don Lemon was demanding from Elon Musk, which led to the cancellation. Okay, so this is what he was asking for, right? I just want to quickly show you guys this. Um, so he put in the moonshot request to go to space. That's one. Two, he wanted a $5 million advance on top of he also wanted a $5 million advance on top of an $8 million base salary. Okay, that's crazy. Plus equity and veto power over the site's news policies and its creative roster. Now, what's funny is Tucker Carlson didn't even get that. <laughs> that, that that's funny. And he's beyond Don Lemon status, right? Um, now, <laughs> this is pretty funny. Let me scroll down. I want you guys to, to hear this. When uh, they asked Don Lemon about this, he came back and said, um, oh, come on, that is nonsense. People n negotiate all the time, but that's, come on, it's obviously a deflection. Okay, so as I wrap up this video, I want to say this to you. Um, you know, D Don Lemon, this is just another one of his uh, pony tricks. Um, you know, he's woke, of course. Um, he wants to use the fact that he's gay. He wants to use the fact that he's black. And he wants to use the mindset that he's a victim on why things are not going his way in life. And this is a great mindset lesson. When you play the victim, you end up like Don Lemon. When you step up, take responsibility and play the hero, you end up like Tucker Carlson. That's just my take on this. Uh, but we don't feel sorry for Don Lemon over here. I think it's utterly outrageous that he's suing Elon Musk. It's, it's really funny, but there are people who are obsessed, okay? Elon Musk is obviously living rent-free in Don Lemon's mind. There's no question about it. Why go through all the trouble? Why pay the legal fees to sue, to sue Elon Musk? 
obviously he is obsessed, deranged, and sick in the mind. So with that, that's all I have to say. What do you guys think about uh, this whole new story of uh, Don Lemon suing Elon Musk? Do you, did you recall that interview? Did you watch that interview? Um, what do you think about his overall fall from grace? I mean, that's what I would call it. Just he's been spiraling out of control. What do you think about that and how you could compare it to the rise of Tucker Carlson and how successful he's been since getting fired from Fox News. I want to hear what your guys' thoughts are more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. Stay grateful, stay focused, and stay true. Peace.